This is the Brandon T. Adams Audio Experience. Let's get started. Welcome back to the Brandon T. Adams Audio Experience. I'm Brandon T. Adams, and this is episode 120, The Power of Mindset. The most important thing for happiness, for success, for goals, for making money is your mind. Your mind is your computer that whatever you put in it will determine the output, the results. If you put in trash, if you put in negative things, if you're constantly watching bad things on TV, the news, if you're constantly drinking alcohol, doing drugs, or watching porn, or doing anything that is really not helping your life, what will happen is you're going to get negative output. You're not going to feel good, not going to have good results. But if you consume positive things, listen to positive videos, watch positive videos, listen to positive music, read books, listen to audio books, exercise, put your mind in the right space, be around positive people, and focus on your goals, you're going to get positive results. You become what you think about most of the time. What I mean by that is what you're constantly thinking about. Our mind has thousands upon thousands of thoughts every single day. And it'll say so many things like, do I go left, do I right, this, that, squirrel, boom, ah, what, what is it? Well, force your mind to think towards the positive. You know, something that I do a lot, our minds constantly want to go towards negative or even like gossip or different things. There are many times now I catch myself or I'm about to say something to my wife. And it's honestly sometimes something that isn't even worth saying, whether talking about something that went wrong today or something that I didn't like or something I saw that I agree with or some kind of gossip about some person. And I have it thought in my head, but I stop, I catch myself, and I don't waste my energy to even state it because it does nothing for me to improve my life. Think about that. Think about all the times you said things and talked out of your ass to mention things that didn't even bring value to your life or anybody around you. Be very concise and to the point for when you do speak words. Don't get me wrong. Have a great conversation with somebody, but speak things that are positive. That's why you surround yourself with positive people that have positive conversations, conversations that bring value to you. And so be careful what you think about. Be careful what you state. Now, the mindset, think about what you tell it, your affirmations. My name is Brennan T. Adams. I'm a very successful and wealthy entrepreneur. I make money and it flows like a river. My mind is powerful. My power is in my body and my soul. I am strong. I'm a loving husband. I make money. I make lives better for other people. I impact millions of lives. I am a success. I'm achieving great things in life. What I just did there is stating truth and reality of who I am, who I'm becoming, and it makes me even feel more powerful. So what are you saying to yourself? Are you telling yourself that you're amazing, that you're great, that you are a success? Are you telling yourself that you're a loser, that you suck and life isn't good? Maybe life isn't good right now, but if you actually convince yourself that it is and look at the positive things, your life will get better. You know, you can only pick one, positive or negative. I choose positive every time. Even if I step in shit, what's the positive of it? Maybe I got to go clean my shoe because I need to be clean anyways. Pick the positive things and find the positive things. That doesn't mean you don't acknowledge the negative or the things that you don't desire. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? And how can I use this situation to grow? How can I use this lesson to become better? Where's the gold in this opportunity? In this obstacle, where's the opportunity? And so... Thinking positive and thinking towards positive results. Now, how can you put yourself in a positive mindset? I said this before. I'll keep repeating myself. Surrounding yourself with positive people. With positive people that say things that make you grow. Also, have coaches. This is why we have coaches and mentors to build us up, to hype us up. I have a meditation and what I call a tune-up coach. Basically, like puts my mind in a whole nother state into where I'm going. Anything that I have obstacles in my life, he helps me walk through and let go of and helps me think towards where I want to go. 
I also have a longevity doctor to ensure that I can perform at the highest level. I'm doing everything I can to have better exercise, better sleep, better things to make my body, which is my home, be able to perform at the highest level. And so having coaches, having business mentors, being a part of masterminds, having people that help you grow and not take you down. So to improve your mindset, be around positive people, but have people that can hold you accountable every single day. Power of mindset, have a routine, have a habit. I wake up early in the morning and throughout the first three hours of my life, it's my time. It is my time. I think about my life, what I have, where I want to go, gratitude. I pray, I read, I look at my goals, I actually do work, I send out emails, send to my team, get things done early in the morning, and then I go exercise. It's actually proven when you exercise, whether you're going for a run, you're doing yoga, you are lifting weights in the gym, that it's actually sparking a certain part of your brain that sparks creativity and actually makes you a happier person. It's proven you will be happier when you exercise. It sparks something in your brain. These are the things that we have access to that not everybody utilizes. So exercise. It's also true when you're progressing towards something, you're getting closer. Even if you don't achieve what you're going after, the fact that you're progressing forward and growing, you're a happier person, which puts you in a happier state, happier state of mind. And as you get better at something, when you master something, you master your talent, master your craft, that is something to be proud of, which puts you in a mindset of how can I get better? And so these are little things that you can do. Your mind is everything. You know, if you believe you can't do something, you're not going to do it. But if you actually believe you can do something to win a race, win a fight, win that business deal, if you in your whole heart believe that, that is going to send energy waves and energy that will attract that. But you have to be ready to accept that. You have to actually believe that. The best salespeople have the mindset of they have massive value to give and they're going to ensure they're going to get the sale. And even if they hear a no, that may mean no for then, but maybe not no later. And being conviction, the conviction in yourself. When you actually believe in yourself and believe in what you're doing, other people will see that. They will attract to you and they'll want to get into your world. Your mindset is everything. You have a positive mindset, you're going to get positive results. So I have an exercise for you. I'm going to leave you on this. I want you to write down who you are, where you're going, and what you want out of this life. What do you want in your finances? Two, five years from now, what do you want? How much money do you want in your bank account? Be very specific. Okay, the next thing is how are you going to get it? What are you going to do in value you provide the world to get to that number? Be very specific. What do you want in your relationships with your husband, with your wife, with your family? What do you want in your relationships? What's the ideal world for you? Your health. What do you want in your health? What are you going to do to achieve that? If you want to go run a marathon, how are you going to get to that point? Those are areas of your life. And then what are some things? What's another one? Here's one more. What are a bucket list of things you want to do over the next five years. Things that you want to eventually do. Write them down. One more. What are material things that you want? Do you want a house? Do you want a nice new car? Do you want a boat? What do you want? Write it down. Be very specific. Obsess over these. When you obsess over it, what happens is it starts building into your mind, your subconscious. When you sleep, you'll dream about it. And then you'll start seeing those things. And then eventually what's going to happen is you're going to be so obsessed and so motivated and have such a strong mindset towards it, you're going to start doing the things necessary to get it. And when you start talking about it, other people will see that and they will even help you get to it. The power of the mind. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this changed your mindset a little bit. I love just stating this. You could see in my eyes if you watch the video version of this or even seen it on social media. Feel free to follow me on social media at Brandon T. Adams everywhere. If you like this podcast episode, leave me a review of five star. And uh, as always, I'm here for you. Email me, Brandon at BrandonTAdams.com. Have a powerful mindset. 
Your mindset will determine everything and become what you think about most of the time.